Hello again. I thought I'd just give you a quick look at this book that the videos are based on. I wrote it um, about a year ago. Well, actually, I published it about a year ago, but I had been writing it and gathering stories for approximately 15 years before that. It's based on about 35 years of teaching experience in a Waldorf school, but it's equally accessible, I think, to anybody who wants to help anybody learn how to knit. So it's called Teaching Through Stories because I found that's a really valuable way to show, uh, to teach children, not just to show them, and it works equally well for adults. For more information, you can look at my website, which is elizabethsewardauthor.com. So here's just a quick look at what's inside. Um, here's the title page. And you'll see there's quite an extensive index up front, uh, the temperaments. Towards the end, it's more about the sort of how-tos. Um, before that, there's some patterns and projects, but the main meat of the whole book is about uh, how to actually make it work for children. It says in the handwork classroom, but equally valuable for homeschoolers. When to start knitting, what to do about left-handers, suggestions, threading a needle. I think you'll find I'm not insisting that you do it my way, but that I offer you the fruits of my experience. Here's the actual stories that I would tell in the classroom, how to put a story together. And at the very beginning, it's um, why stories, why tell stories? Why would I want to do this? What is handwork about? What's the point? And then as we go through, I asked a friend to illustrate it. And I asked her also to leave a lot of white space and to allow space for you to put in your own ideas or your own thoughts, or maybe even for your children to color in the pictures. So this one is about where Jane and Jeremy, the main characters, go see a little lamb who's got stuck beyond the fence. And that's where my little verse comes from about under the fence, catch the sheep, slide him through, and away he leaps once he's back in the same field as his mother. So there's quite a few stories, getting started, simple illustrations, simple stories making a blanket for a new baby, that's practicing squares. This is a little surprise present. At the end of the chapter, you'll see a little bit sort of a commentary, a little bit about rhymes, images, and mnemonics, ways to help remember how to make a knot, how to knit, classroom survival skills, yeah, we all need those. Um, learning and forgetting, so it's not about just um, remembering everything all the time. That's one of the main principles of all of education. So sort of tips and techniques. Here we get to some of the patterns. You'll find a free pattern for the bunny on my website, elizabethauthor.com. Some other patterns I found work really well. Not a massive number of patterns, but I also give ideas about how you can choose your own patterns, criteria to choose your own patterns. A little bit about the four temperaments, which is a really helpful tool we use in Waldorf education. And then a couple of suppliers at the end, ones I really do recommend. And again, more white space. There's some wonderful um, quotes on the back, some testimonials from some teachers that I really, really admire. And I was really thrilled to have these testimonials. So I hope you'll look at my website. You can also click through on my website to find uh, places to buy an ebook, which is available now or a paperback or a hardback book, elizabethsewardauthor.com. Thank you, and I know you will find this book valuable. Thanks for your attention in watching.